near and dear to my heart, obviously. Uh, and to see it grow over these past six and a half, nearly seven years, has been mind blowing. It's the only way I can describe it. Uh, when, we, when we first founded YAL, my vision for the organization, and I remember telling a donor this, is if we could reach 200 chapters, we would be like a real national organization. And we far surpassed that within the first couple of years. And the organization has just gone further than any of our expectations. And it really is uh, thanks to all of the work that you guys have done, the hard work on the ground, um, and growing YAL. So I want to just start to, to, by welcoming you to the seventh annual YAL National Convention. Uh, this is our biggest event we've ever done. This is the biggest national convention we've ever held. And uh, you're a part of that. And, what makes the National Convention unique from other events across the political spectrum, but specifically the Liberty Movement, is the YAL National Convention is invitation only. And we do that intentionally because at the end of the day, what's most important for the resources that we allocate and the work that we do is to find people who are committed to the cause of liberty, who want to make it a lifelong passion of theirs to advance liberty, to uh, make a better world for all people. And so this is not an event that you just come and you see and you hear a few great speakers and you get inspired and you go home. It's a lot more than that. And that's why we make it invitation only and very exclusive. Uh, you're here because we believe in you. We believe that you're a proven leader. We believe that you're an up and coming leader. And we believe you're gonna change the world. <laughs> It, it really is, I, I don't say that to oh, exaggerate, I truly mean that. And why we started YL from the beginning, because I always thought it would take a generation to really change our country in a very meaningful, real way. And the, the size and scope of how YL has grown, I believe, is going to be uh, continue. But I think it's going to be our generation that are going to become the leaders on Capitol Hill, the leaders of think tanks, uh, the leaders of nonprofit organizations, businessmen and businesswomen, uh, professors and doctors that will change the world. So carrying these ideas is so, so important. So the reason you're here is, why, uh, is because we see a lot of potential in you. So I, I, I ask of you to dedicate your time while you're here. There's a lot of fun activities uh, to participate in, but make the priority to come on time every day, to pay attention to every lecture. We put a lot of time into these to make sure that uh, we're giving you the best uh, and most valuable information that we can. So please participate. Please be a part of the conversation and sit down and listen. And what I hope is that we can give you the information that you have as a leader to go back to your campus to educate your members and grow your YAL chapter and hopefully go on to do big, big things. So I want to give you a little bit of history and walk through our mission for you. So you can kind of communicate this again back to your chapter or anyone who asks, hey, what's YAL? What's this organization all about? So when we were founded in uh, the end of 2008, our first year was really 2009, our first national convention only had 60 attendees. And even at that time, that was the coolest thing ever. Wow, look at all these libertarian young people who are actually coming together. Before that, uh, when I was in college, there was none of this. So we've gone from 60 to the next year, we had 70. We grew out of that venue and had to, well, in 2011, we had 130. And we grew out of that venue, we actually were here in 2012 with over 260, 267 attendees. 2013, we moved to George Mason University and just over 300. Last year, we had over 325. And the coolest thing, as I said, things continue to grow. This year, we have more than 350 leaders who are attending this event from all 50 states across the country and over 225 campuses. So give yourself a round of applause. And so what we're trying to accomplish here these few days is, as I said, to give you the tools that you can take back to your campus and hopefully be a real leader for liberty. So how do we do that? What's the mission of YAL? Uh, everything we do, every program we execute can be, can be derived from our mission. And our mission is to identify, educate, train, and mobilize youth activists committed to winning on principle. Now, that's one point I want to make sure that to drill in your head as much as possible. So when you go back, and what's YL? What's YL's mission? If you could just 
if you can off the top of your head and top of your tongue just re regurgitate that. It's to identify, educate, train, and mobilize youth activists committed to winning on principle. And then we unpack, I'll help you unpack that. The most important phrase in our, in our mission is winning on principle. And what that means is taking the principles of liberty and learning how to win with them in the political process, which I think is a very novel idea. I think the libertarian movement's been around for decades. Uh, it's been sowing the seeds and educating people for a very, very long time. There's some tremendous educational foundations and think tanks out there that have, that have uh, developed the ideas. But I think it's time to actually start taking those ideas and mobilizing with them and executing them into the and, and implementing them into the political process. So we stay principled, but we find ways to win and advance our message. So winning on principle, at the end of the day, is the, most, is the core of everything we do. We try to find ways to advance our mis mission uh, by finding ways to win through the political process. So how we do that comes to these four uh, verbs. Step one is we identify leaders on the ground, which is all you guys. Uh, we have over, we have 646 YL chapters across the country as of today. Uh, talk to me next week and I guarantee you that'll be more. It grows organically. It grows as the work from you, what you, what you all do. Um, it's amazing to see week to week how the network continues to grow. But this is the first step of our mission, is to identify young leaders on college campuses, organize them into college chapters, and use that as the hub uh, for the next steps of our mission. Which is, as you can see, the projection of our growth. Our goal for the end of this year was 650 campus chapters. As you saw from our last slide, we're four chapters away from already reaching our goal for 2015. So we are well on our way from exceeding our goals. The, the movement continues to grow. This is great news not just for YL, but for the cause at large. Um, I give a lot of credit to the leadership team. We had a leadership team summit yesterday. If you're a part of the leadership team, if you're a state chair, stand up real quick. I want everyone give them a round of applause. Not many of them are in the front, the front two rows. See, see, that's how good. That's that's a that's a good sign. Uh, you'll hear a lot about the leadership team over the next few days and becoming a state chair. I think it's a very natural next step as a chapter leader to become a state chair. We'll dive into that in detail. What that means and uh, how you can advance the movement, how you can make money doing it, how you can uh, build your resume. Uh, there's many benefits and perks of being a state chair, uh, but it's this core team that is growing our movement and the focus of being the boots, the, the, the boots on the ground who are your contacts. So if uh, you don't know who your state chair is, make that a mission during the YL National Convention to figure out who is my state chair uh, and make sure you introduce yourself to them and that you're well connected because that'll be a valuable resource for you moving forward. So this was our team last year. We just had a leadership team summit yesterday, so we didn't have time to update the slide, but uh, it continues to grow. I think we have more than 60 state chairs uh, all across the country. And uh, what, I, what I hope that we can become is leaders of liberty. So what, the, what does that look like and why we are hosting, one of the reasons we're hosting this event is to show you what that means. What does a leader of liberty look like? So tonight we are honored and privileged to have uh, se uh, seven members of Congress joining us, uh, including the likes of Justin Amash. <laughs> And Thomas Massey. And, and you'll, hear, you'll hear from phenomenal speakers like Matt Kibbe on Saturday morning. Um, Larry Reed from Fee. He brought his own cheering section. That's great. Uh, and one of my favorite people in the world, one of the nicest guys you've ever met, and an absolute genius, Tom Woods. <laughs> But I think probably the coolest thing, and the coolest thing every year, uh, that we'll have the opportunity to hear from, and hopefully have a chance to take a picture with, is the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Ron Paul. Yeah. The, 
the coolest 80 year old man in the world by far. He'll be here tomorrow night. So these are some of the leaders of liberty that we hope uh, that you can aspire to. There's many across the entire spectrum, whether your path is to go in ac academia, whether it is politics, whether it is uh, the business world. What's most important to us is that you discover what, what's important to you, what path you went ahead, and then you excel on that path, and we can provide you the resources and training to be most effective as a leader that carries these ideas. So that brings us to the next step of our mission. So we educate young, we, we identify uh, young leaders on campuses, we educate them in the philosophy of liberty to become a leader of liberty, and then we train you to be effective as best we can. And that's what this is all about. We're going to have four days of intense campus and campaign training. Please feverishly take notes as much as you can. Take all the information as you possibly can back home to campus with you. And how we do that is we have some expert trainers who will be here, uh, who will teach about messaging, who will teach about targeting, who will teach about organizing. Uh, the, lecture, the lectures that you'll hear, I think, are top notch. We brought who we believe are the best of the best, as well as campus leaders who you'll hear from all day tomorrow. So tomorrow, Thursday, will be a campus training. Uh, we'll, we'll focus mostly on developing your YAL chapter, and then Friday we'll, we'll transition to uh, ca campaigns. This past year, we trained over 2,300 activists, mostly at the YAL state conventions. Who here attended the state convention? Wow, awesome, like three-fourths of the room. And uh, we'll continue to host these in, in the spring. If you're interested in hosting a state convention in your state, the best way of doing that is to make yourself one of the strongest states in our network. That's how we decide where we go, where do we have our strongest network, where do they need this, uh, where are they growing, where could they use this, uh, this training. Uh, but there are one day events to hopefully give you the information you need, to, again, to take back to your campus. Kind of condense what we do here at the national level uh, at one day state events and to organize local activists so you guys can network and, and build on that growth. And the last step is to mobilize into the political process. So we have an affiliate PAC that helps endorse candidates, and these are some of the candidates that we've helped endorse over the years. Uh, but we also want to find, if you're interested in getting involved in campaigns on Capitol Hill, internships, think tanks, uh, academia, whatever, again, whatever your path might be, please, please, please lean on us. Lean on your regional director. Lean on your state chairs. Let them be a resource. Ask them questions. Hey, I want to do this. What, what options are available to me? Uh, the, the sponsors that we have out here, the, the number of resources available to you, the free stuff, the internships, the job opportunities are numerous. I often joke that you guys are spoiled. When I was in college, I was a lonely libertarian and didn't have anywhere to go. I felt isolated on campus, and that's changed dramatically within, within the last seven or eight years. So please, please, please take advantage of what you have before you. So how far have we come since really since YL was founded, and I think a large part since Ron Paul ran for president? This, to me, I think is one of the most astounding poll numbers out there. As about 40% of 18 to 32-year-olds view the word libertarian favorably. That's, that's, the, the, that slices two ways. Is one, it's incredible that that many people view it favorably, but it also shows that we still have a lot of work to do to introduce people to these ideas and to actually um, come on board with our message. But again, when I was in school, I couldn't count the number of libertarians on two hands. And to hear that 40% of our demographic actually views the term as friendly, let, let alone knows what it means, uh, is, 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 I guess one said, is awesome. <laughs> and we still have more to go, so we're not done, we're, we're, we're making progress. So the challenge for you, uh, I put before you for this, these four days, is to commit yourself. Be, be the symbol of change that you want to be. So to become the most effective activist you can be, sacrifice your time, dedicate yourself to advancing the cause of liberty. It's about commitment. It's about making choices in your life that will determine the outcome. Do you want to spend that extra day uh, hanging out at the bar, uh, taking it easy, or are you going to spend that day organizing a YL chapter, preparing the next meeting, out on campus, recruiting new people for the philosophy of liberty? What we're looking for is people who are willing to make that choice to advance the cause of liberty. So I thank you once again for coming. I thank you so much for traveling. So far. I heard someone drove from California. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yeah, that does a round of applause. But we have, we, we have all 50 states represented from over 225 campuses. So take time to meet each other. You know, we're, we're amongst friends, so please don't be afraid or don't be shy to, to, 
to walk up and to say hello to someone new, make sure you meet your state chairs, your regional directors, take time to absorb as much information as you can, and above all, have a lot of fun. We want you guys to make sure that this is a memorable experience, experience and that you take the information back home, and that you improve your YAL chapter and you advance the cause of liberty. So with that, we'll get the show on the road. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to um, getting to know you better and hopefully giving you the information you need to be successful and a leader of liberty. Thank you so much. Thank you.